Real quick, items that made this job easier. Two drain pans. Got this funnel, pretty sweet. Small end on it, it's flexible. Works great for refilling transmission fluid. Knee pad is a must uh, for my head actually when I was laying down on the ground, uh, torquing the bolts or loosening them. Uh, creepers are okay. The only thing is you have to fight the resistance of rolling around. Uh, gloves, I got the five mil ones from Harbor Freight. Uh, they do break often, but there's a hundred of them. Uh, they're great, they give you a little bit more grip when doing this job. Mallet came in handy for reattaching the linkage to the shifter. 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench was helpful for one or two of the 10 millimeter bolts on the valve cover. Quarter inch drive set came in handy for removing the battery and battery components. I actually use the 3H drive a lot more, pretty much for all of it, using the uh, 10 millimeter 3H drive deep well. And then I also used a little stubby extension that helped. Need a five millimeter for the drain plug, uh, drain uh, check plug actually. Short 10 millimeter 3 8 13 millimeter, and a 14 millimeter. You'll need this for the uh, shifting linkage. And then the 13 millimeter you actually need for two of the bolts underneath, one bolt and then one nut uh, underneath for loosening up some components, get it out of the way. Flathead screwdriver with the mallet was good for moving the old valve cover. Uh, and then picks are always a must or a necessity. You'll definitely find use for those.